Hey guys, John Peterman. Uh, today I'm gonna tie a small universal nymph pattern, like a small floating nymph. Can be tied in any size and any color, and uh, it will uh, match any mayfly hatching and and laying in the surface just before hatching. Okay, let's start tying. Just a, a small bunch of uh, fibers from a pheasant tail. All mayfly nymph has uh, tree tails, but uh, on this fly I'm not going to match up the, the numbers of tail, just a, a small bunch. I try to make them as even as possible here in the length. Wonder Wax makes dubbing easy, and again I'm using, uh, oh, like most of the uh, dry flies and nymphs I tie, I use uh, fly ride. Very easy to make a small rope kind of dubbing. <clears throat> And if you want to split the, the tail fibers up a little, just put the, the thread around and, and you split them. I need just a little more here. About here. And for the, the wing case of the nymph, I'm also going to use a, a bunch of fibers from a pheasant tail feather. <clears throat> And a good way to, to measure the proportions of the of the nymph. Um, if you take the tie where you tied your uh, tail in and the head of the hook, the front of the hook, in the middle there, it's it's a good place to to measure your wing case and the thorax of the fly. And uh, now I'm going to need a small feather from. Uh, a partridge here. I actually prepared a feather before, but it's it's gone. No, it's right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this uh, feather as um, as uh, legs. tied in on top here and it's not very strong this feather so I need to be careful I use a little bit saliva to to make the fibers go back here and tie them in the same place as you did with the wing case. And then just uh, some spiky dot for the thorax area. And I'm gonna use the squirrel dot. It's, it's a very nice, easy dot to use, as you see, together with the 
the wax from over on it's, it's just very easy to use. Just a little bit more here. There you go. And then I'm going to take the, the small partridge feather here and lay it on top of the nymph and again I'm going to divide the, the fibers and tie it in here. Just a few, a few threads with the thread and then the, the thorax here and tie it in together with with the, the partridge and try not to get any fiber stuck in here and then you can trim off excess and finish the, the fly with the head then just try to get the fibers out here the same way both sides and then you have a, a small floating nymph thank you for watching and happy time